Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. So I'm starting off really, really late because I had some errands to run in the morning. We're going to try to catch one fish. The goal is catch one fish and explore this new area. Looking really looking forward to it because I've always wanted to fish this area. I'm going to be using the Bugs Flats bug because that's been the hot lure. Also going to be using a paddle tail and other bugs if I need to. Uh, we got some high north winds. The water level is super, super high. Got a huge bull tide that came in out of nowhere. It is like, I would say, two feet higher than normal. Uh, when I launched so um, oh it is what it is let's see if we catch some fish today wow the water's moving so well that's some good water movement man I don't even remember it being this uh, this well in movement yeah it's it's really ripping hopefully that's good news for us why do they call this redfish bayou There's supposed to be redfish here. There we go, that's a bite. Oh dang, that's a red. Oh yep. Oh he let go. Dang, that, that was a nice bite. Holy smoke, he thumped it hard. Well, my shenanigans of keep missing the fish keep happening. Got some fast moving current today, brother. Very fast. That felt really nice, that thump. It was a hard hit too. You sure it wasn't oyster? No, I'm it pulled drag. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this line is spectacular, man. I'm glad you like it, man. I'm getting further, like maybe 10, 20% further cast than my traditional fishing line. That's, that's pretty impressive. That's a lot, that's a big difference, dude. 20% is a huge difference. I don't, even, I don't even get a 20% raise. <laughs> yeah, I get like, my raises are more like 3%. Yeah, that's about industry standard. <laughs> there we go. Oh God, that's a, another flounder. They're hitting this black, bro. That was another thump, a nice thump. Let's see if I can get them again. Golly, man, I am missing. I mean, they're like short biting it, but it's hard thumps, man. It's gotta be flounder. I missed 2.2 feet and it's mud. That makes a lot of sense. This will be a nice area to target right here at this apex. You got Russian water coming out pretty good. Throw it a few times. Let's see if we can get something. Usually uh you got the predatory fish kind of hanging around this area because it's like a it's like a vortex. <laughs> a vortex of getting the bait fish flushed around and they just come and intercept them. You know, while we're at it, let's change out our hooks something a little bit more less profile so it'll give us a better chance to hook into this fish Y'all see something, birds? Show me the way. Show me the way, people. Obviously, you see some kind of bait. You're just hovering over there. Got some nice movement up here. Meaning, I see some bait right up here. Let's see what's up. Could be just bait moving. But they're moving because of reason. And these birds are just picking them off. Yeah, soft mud. This is perfect area for uh, redfish and flounder, that's for sure. We just gotta find them. I mean, I already lost two of them. I know they're a flounder. Good flounder, too. <laughs> that's just the way it is sometimes with fishing. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. That was another flounder. Took my tail right off. Oh, you can see that on your side scan? Yeah, they show no mercy, bro. Probably those John boats. Yeah. Should've just got a John boat. I can get 22 miles an hour on mine. <laughs> Come on, man. 
Hey, we're really tangled up. No. Okay, right. Oh. Oh. There it is. I done, I done hung my, my <laughs> 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 Oh, that, that made my day, bro. Oh, there we go. That's a fish. Right at the corner. All right, let's turn the engine off. That's a red. That's gotta be a red. And I don't think he's gonna be a big guy, but I can be wrong. I'm right there. Pretty cool. Let's get the net. He's just chilling. Chilling, chilling, chilling. And come on, brother. Let's go. Come on, bro. Oh, you know, he might be right. At Dang, that's a pretty redfish. Come on, buddy. All right, Nick. Well, you're an idiot sometimes. Oh my God, he got some sores on him too. <laughs> oh God, this is buffoonery. Oh, here we go. That's a good fish, but man, he is jacked up. You know, he might be slot. I mean, just really looking at him uh, closely, he might be slot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got our first fish today. That's a pretty redfish. You know, he might be in a lower end slot, but look at the massive scar on the side of his body. I feel so bad for this guy. Look at that. This guy got really jacked up by whatever. It could have been a prop scar. It could have been, I don't know. Man, I don't know what happened, but this guy, poor guy. I'm going to let him go real fast, but I'm going to admire him just a moment take a couple picks and you know what i think i'm going to measure him too he might be right at the 20 incher all right moment of truth i don't think he's 20 but you never know oh look at that he is a slot red 20 and a half inch right there nose on the board 20 and a half inch dude i can't believe it keep a red i wanted to keep a fish too but you know considering this guy's nature yeah look at that that's no bueno man God, that's ugly. Well, we're gonna let him go. You know, take care, man. Really, take care of yourself, okay? I learned that. You got a pretty, pretty tail. There he goes. Good deal. Oh wow, that's a fish. That's a flounder, huh? No bite? Yeah, no bite. Oh my god, better get ready. Wow, that's totally... He's... Oh my god, he's pulling. Oh, it's a red. Oh, I'll take him. Uh, he might be right at the borderline, like my first one was, but no matter. I'm happy. Nah, he's going to be small. God, these guys have a lot of power for considering how big they are. <laughs> you done yet, brother? You done yet? Come on. Come on in here. <laughs> man, he is not big at all, but man, he he, he, he he fooled me, man. I thought I had a 35 inch flounder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you call luck. Caught this, uh, I would say he's probably 17 and a half, maybe close to 18 inch redfish. He fought really hard because of the current. It really was, uh, it was mind blowing because he just tricked me so much, but uh, caught him on that curl tail, just bouncing on the ground, but very lucky. Let's let him go. You like that black and gold, don't you? Everyone likes that black and gold right there. Beautiful fish, and he's croaking hard. Now, this is a Louisiana fish, but people, this is legal in Louisiana, but too bad we are in Louisiana. Whoo, there he goes. Oh wow, that's one too. Oh, wow, there was like two reds there or something. The He's a small guy. He ain't gonna be big. That's funny, man. I got the smaller one out of the big, out of the one that we're casting to. How do I get always this bad luck? <laughs> I don't care though. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Dang, beautiful fish there. All right, my man, I appreciate it. Thank you. I was going back to the launch and you made my day. There you go, my man. Whoa, easy, easy, boy. Saw a little flounder just jump right here. Are you 
No, no, I saw him jump. There we go. That's him. He's a small guy. <laughs> I, I knew I saw him. He's a small dude. Small flounder. I'll take him. I got the nursery slam going. Wow. All right, brother. He seems big because of the current, but he is not big at all. Trust me, guys. But he got that curl tail in his mouth. There he is. Oh, wow. It's a big flounder. Holy shoot. Get in there. Yes. Oh my god, that's a big flounder. Are you joking? I saw a baby flounder jump here. And I catch the big one. You cannot make that up, dude. Wow, are you freaking... Dude, yes. It's a turn of events, bro. I know, that's crazy. Dude, this, this turned out to be a good day. Got to keep a red, got to keep a flounder. You know, I wasn't really expecting much since we started late, but look at that slab. That right there is a big slab. And the reason why I hit them is because I'm going to keep them anyways, but... Look at that, man. That's a big dude. I saw a baby one jump. Like, I'm actually, I'm sitting on the grass line. I saw him jump right here, and then I just tossed it with my curl tail, and he smoked it. Dude, the curl tail. Wow, it might be that time of year where you got to change from the flats bug to curl tail. Sorry, sorry, guys, if you just bought your flats bug. Go get some curl tails now. Dude, this guy is thick. His tail is thick. Everything is thick. He's 19 inches, bro. Oh, my God. Look at that 19-inch flounder. Holy crap. That's a big mother freaker. <laughs> wow, that's the biggest one I've caught in a long, long time, bro. Look at that, dude. All right, what an awesome day on the water. You know, honestly, I expected it to be slow because like I said, started, I stated earlier, we started late and uh, the conditions, high winds, a lot of things against us. Yeah, just there wasn't that much bait as I thought it'd be, but anyways, Really happy I was able to catch that big 19 inch flounder. That's one of the biggest flounders I've caught in 2020. Hopefully we can hook up with some 20 inch plusers pretty soon because you guys know it's just about time for the flounder run right around the corner. So I'm super, super excited. But I am home today and I got a brand new package. Uh, yeah, I already kind of opened it just because I really didn't know what it was until after I opened it. And then, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy. So let me show you what we got today. All right, here we go, guys. The suspense is killing me. Oh, look at that right there, folks. What does that say? I don't play around when it comes to high-end reels, or when it comes to reels in general, I do not play around. Oh, man. Something that would replace my Stratic 4000. I had the Stratic 4000, but I sold to one of my patrons, so I needed to get another 4000 reel, and I just got the Shimano Stella. SW for saltwater 4000 XG meaning the high gear one. This is a made in Japan reel So yeah, let's check it out here. This is the first time me opening it Ooh, Okay, we got some We got some manuals and some diagrams that uh, we were gonna do that. Oh Here we go. Here we go. Got some oil here Some other things we don't need And there we go, folks. Look at that right there. That's the handle. That is, look at that handle. Aluminum knob. Whoo, man. That is beautiful. All right, let's put that to the side right here. Moment of truth. Look at that. Stella, Shimano Stella, in a nice neoprene bag straight from the factory. Whoo, you know, you gotta give it a good sniff. Whoo, yeah, it smells like new Air Jordans. Dang, look at that. Oh my God, that is small too for being a heavy duty salt water. Well, I can't say it's not heavy duty, but it is probably one of the most heavy duty reels I own because everything I do is light action BFS type applications, light lures. But this is going to be, I'm going to be using like a two, three ounce spoon on this, possibly trolling the, the jetties or possibly, I know I keep saying this, but maybe... BTB one day, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, it is silky smooth. It feels like, the best way to describe it, it feels like it's, it's like gravity, right? Anti-gravity, does that make any sense? You're just floating in the air, just spinning around. God, that is so smooth right there. Made in Japan. You know that's how I like to do it. Japanese reels are the best in the world in my opinion. Man, such a solid piece of artwork. When they put engineering thought into uh, fishing, this is the baby that comes out. <laughs> oh 
I'm telling you what, ooh, look at that, listen to that drag. That is, oh my gosh. Very audible, very tingy, very, it just sounds really good. And when this goes off, you know it's music to my ears. This is strong enough to bring in a big Jack Craval, a big, big Jack Craval. I would say probably 30 pound up, maybe close to 40 pounds. I mean, it has like 27 pounds of drag, I think 25 to 27 pounds of drag. I mean, this thing is heavy duty and it's built. It's IPXA waterproof rated, has all the seals in it. So it'll take the abuse. You can use it for surf fishing, jetty, off the boat, dunk it in the water, no problem. It's gonna last forever. I mean, I really hope you enjoyed this mini boxing and the fishing adventure that I went today. I had a good time, I had a good day. Despite being slow and odds against us, we still got fish. But yeah, before I forget, I'm gonna show you guys the line that I'm gonna be really, or spooling that Stella on. And it's gonna be the Varvus Max Power PE X8. This is the 1.5 gauge, which is 28.6 pounds of test. This is gonna be wrapped up into the new Stella here. So I'm looking, really looking forward to that. But yeah guys, thank you so much for joining me on this venture. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you comment, make sure you stay tuned, hit that bell notification because I'm gonna be coming out with some pretty cool uh, fishing adventures using this big reel and some other big reels that I haven't actually shown you yet. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I love every single one of you. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.